Once atoms were found, it became evident that atoms were composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The first model, due to J.J. Thompson, was that of the plum pudding model. This suggests that the atom was a positively charged cloud with electrons floating in it. This model is incorrect. All models in science have to be consistent with experiment. While at McGill University in Montreal, Ernest Rutherford did a series of scattering experiments that proved that the plum pudding model was incorrect. Rutherford fired alpha particles at a thin sheet of metal foil. Alpha particles are helium nuclei or helium 2 plus atoms. If the Thomson model was correct, all the alpha particles would pass right through the atom. In fact, most did pass right through the atom. However, a small number of alpha particles bounced right back. This could only happen if they hit a very dense part of the atom. The only way to explain this result is that a very dense nucleus exists in the center of the atom and this is surrounded by electrons. This dense nucleus was occasionally hit by an alpha particle and deflected. When the nucleus was not hit, the alpha particle went straight through the atom. The model of the atom with a dense nucleus at the center and surrounded by electrons is called the Rutherford model of the atom. The Bohr model states that electrons exist in various orbitals and that the energy corresponds to the energy level diagram on the left. Electrons of higher energy occupy Bohr orbitals of greater radii. The statistical interpretation of quantum mechanics is one of the most profound aspects of science. It was developed in Copenhagen between 1925 and 1930 and was not fully accepted by Einstein who said God does not roll dice. But today, most scientists agree Heisenberg was right. There is an inherent, fundamental error to measurement.